removing the Ural rear wheel. Well, I was asked to make a quick video uh, showing how to remove the rear wheel of the Ural. Uh, basically, you're going to need four tools. If I can lay them out here, you're going to need a 17 millimeter wrench, a 14 millimeter wrench. I like to use this uh, uh, long Allen that you get uh, for the starter bolts. And then you're going to need uh, that spanner for the nut on the back of the um, on the back of the uh, uh, the nut that holds the wheel on. Uh, one note is that um, some urals, the older ones, the pinch bolt has a 14 millimeter bolt head and a 17 millimeter nut. Uh, some of the newer ones, they have a 17 millimeter on both sides. Uh, mine has a 14 millimeter and a 17 millimeter. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen this pinch bolt uh, that holds the axle on. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to use this Allen wrench and I'm going to use this to turn the axle. Now the axle is threaded on the other end. This is where this thin spanner comes in. And by the way, uh, this also fits your uh, oil filter cap. Very nice. It fits up in there nice and uh, 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 turns it real easy. So I'm just going to show this real quick. If you look down there, you can see the nut right there that we have to take off. This is a two-wheel drive. It's pretty much the same on a one-wheel drive, but you don't have this uh, knuckle in the way uh, for the sidecar. Now, uh, most of the rigs have a castellated nut with a cotter pin. Um, I replaced that with a lock nut that I got from Ace Hardware. So all I have to do is reach this down in there and put it on that nut like that. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to spin the axle and it'll turn the axle and that nut will come off. So I'm going to move the camera back over to this side. And we're going to take that off. If you use the Allen wrench, it's a lot easier to go through here. I think in the Ural videos they show you using the Tommy bar, but the Tommy bar doesn't slide all the way through the hole, so you can't you can't do that. And once you get it to a point, you can just kind of turn it with your hands like that. Okay. There's the nut. It's off. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Let me see if the axle, normally what I like to do is get on the other side, put my foot under the tire to hold the tire up in the air and slide the axle out. But I don't want to get in the way of the camera, so I'm going to see if I can slide it out. Yeah, you see what happens is, is the tire might get cocked a little bit, or the wheel, and then it's harder getting out. So hang on, let me move. Set the axle off to the side, and all you have to do is pull the wheel straight off. And of course, this never happens to me. It happens to me when I do a video. It got caught on the brake pad. Normally, I'm able to pull it off without it catching on the brake pad, but it caught and the brakes came off. And then you just wheel it out to the side. Now, one note that uh, um, makes it easier for me is my mufflers are a lot shorter. So I don't have to worry about getting it around the muffler. Um, so mine came right out. But that's basically all you need to do to remove the Euro wheel.